This is the second part of properties of set operations and relations and here we are going to discuss the commutativity of union and intersection. In the last lesson we have discussed the first property. Now we are going to second the second property which is commutativity of union and intersection and it says that A union B equal to B union A and a intersection B equal to B intersection A. So we have to prove these two properties. A union B is equal to B union A. We will prove first this and then we will prove the second one. So here suppose I am going to write down any, this is the set A, I am going to write down any element. Right, suppose I will write down A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. And in set B, I am going to write suppose B, C, E, I, and F. Any elements you can write down in order to prove commutativity of union in intersection. But you should know the concept what is the meaning of union and what is the meaning of intersection. So, first is A union B. And I have told you that union means you have to write down each and every element of both the sets which are present in A, which are present in B. But if some elements are common, common means present in both the sets, we have to write down only one time. A union B. Okay, A is here, A is not here. But we have to write down because in union we have to write down each and every element. Now come to, okay, first we will finish this and then this, right? You can write down anyway. If you want, you can write down according to alphabet A, B, C, D or you can write down it's arbitrary. So E, E is C present here and here. So we will write down only one time. I is present here and here. We will write down only one time and then O and U. So this is finished. Now come to B. B, C and F. B, C and F. You can write down alphabetically as well if you want, but there is no hard and fast rule. This is A union B. Each and every element you have to write down of both the sets, but if something is common or present in both, you have to write down only one time. This is A union B left hand side. This is the left hand side of the first one. Now we are going to prove B union A, right? B union A. So start from here or from here both are same. Same thing A, right? B, C, F. B, C, F. A, E, I, O, U. So see A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, B, C, F, B, C, F. Right? And there is no rule you can write down in any sequence. This is A union B and this is B union A. So we have proved, we have proved that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this is proved. Commute, the first part of the commutati commutativity of union and intersection is proved that A union B is equal to B union A because you have to consider each and every element of both the sets. Now come to this one, second one. It is A intersection B. First is left hand side is A intersection B. Intersection means common. So what is common? E and I. So write down E and I. Intersection only you have to write down common. Right? This is the left hand side. Now prove right hand side which is B intersection A. What is common between B and A? Same thing. E and I. Same thing. Same elements. E and I. So we have proved that A union B. Here you can write down. So A union B equal to B union A we have proved and 
A intersection B equal to B intersection A is proved. Both are same. So this is called the commutativity of union and intersection. And thanks for watching.